Are you thinking about planning a riparian buffer but have been warned that maintenance can be a challenge? This video will explain how you can plan your buffer to make maintenance easier. Be sure to select the best plants for your buffer based on site characteristics and personal preference. The trees and shrubs selected should be appropriate for the location's soil type, sun exposure, moisture levels, and flood frequency. Consider site restrictions and characteristics of the area, such as power lines, right-of-ways, and other utilities. Avoid planning in those locations or make sure the plant type you choose is appropriate. The worst type of maintenance is needing to cut down your newly planted trees because they are in a damaging location. Choosing the right plant for the right location will give your buffer the best chance of survival regardless of other maintenance done on site. A variety of native plants will provide multiple benefits to the stream and wildlife and won't need fertilizer or special maintenance. Plan for your buffer to be at least 35 feet wide with at least two rows of trees. The wider you make your buffer, the better it is for the stream. It will also be easier to manage invasive species and weeds in the long term. As your trees grow, they will shade out many weeds. The more rows of trees, the deeper the shade and the quicker your buffer will be helping to manage weed growth. Trees planted along streams are great at helping to hold soil in place. However, some streams can experience extreme erosion and tree roots, especially those of young trees, won't be enough to prevent the loss of property. If any infrastructure is at risk of falling into the stream, such as your home or driveway, or you are concerned about high rates of erosion, talk to an engineer or consultant about stream stabilization or restoration opportunities before planting trees that might wash into the stream within a few years. If you own both sides of the stream and want to plant trees on both sides, make sure to consider how you will access the entire planting for maintenance. Before planting trees, make sure any needed stabilized crossings are in place. This also goes for any livestock that might need to cross the stream to reach pasture areas. Install appropriate crossings, alternative water sources, and fencing to keep the livestock out of the planting area. One of the biggest threats to a newly planted riparian buffer are invasive weeds taking over. You will need to manage invasive species after the buffer is installed, but it is best if you can eliminate as many as possible from the area before any trees are planted. It might take several seasons of prep work to kill a heavily infested site using herbicide, mowing, and other methods. Make sure that the number of trees and size of your buffer are appropriate for the time, money, and resources that you have to maintain the buffer. Consider starting your buffer project a little smaller and adding to it as you become more comfortable with the needed maintenance. Planting in stages can allow time for your first trees to grow and mature as new trees are planted. The most important way to plan for maintenance is to plant your trees in rows. Rows will make it much easier to mow and apply herbicide. Straight lines make for quicker and easier passes with a mower and other equipment. Space trees and shrubs between 10 and 12 feet apart to allow room for mowers and equipment. While it is recommended for your planting to be at least 35 feet wide, you don't have to plant following the exact curve of the stream. This might mean that some areas of your planting are wider while other areas are narrower. However, you can choose the more natural look of curved rows if you'd like. Planting your trees correctly will also help them to thrive and better resist threats such as weeds and other pests when maintenance isn't performed perfectly. Plant trees at the appropriate depth. Soil should cover all of the roots up to the root collar, but none of the trunk of the tree should be buried. Avoid planting in overly hot weather and make sure trees are appropriately watered or soil is moist during the time of planting and establishment. When planting your trees, use tree tubes or shelters. Shelters help protect the trees from deer, voles, herbicide, mowers, and other threats. They also act like a greenhouse by extending the growing season and helping your trees grow faster. Install the tubes with stakes placed on the upstream side to protect the tree from the force of floodwaters. You will need to periodically straighten up tree tubes and perform other upkeep tasks, but the tubes help prevent the need for replanting. If you have additional questions about repair and buffer maintenance, or you are just interested in learning more, you can find a full series of videos and fact sheets on the Penn State Extension website. Just search for Growing Great Buffers.